I didn't see it, bro. I'm looking. All right. Close. Close. What's good, baby bro? I'm back. You not? I'm not your baby bro. What a editing salt. Oh, I got you. 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 Oh, can y'all just say I'm back and not be fucking like so angry? <clears throat> Movies. A magnificent visual art form that can show the riveting story of one's life or journey. They can display the harshness of someone's struggles and the beauty of someone's rise, conveying emotions that whenever I see them on screen, I can't help but feel the same way the character is feeling on screen. Not only that, they can introduce you to a you new world that is entirely me. detached from our reality that I'm almost always engulfed in. I think that's a beautiful wonder about movies. They can spark out emotions for me that I just can't get from any other media. But what kind of deep emotions does movies like this spark for me? <laughs> of that was some uh, Power Rangers shit. Of course, just like with everything Zach, else in existence, Power Rangers? there's a not so good counterpart to movies. And these counterparts could be found way easier nowadays since most blockbusters nowadays aren't really that good anymore. Like y'all making so many superhero movies. Bro, I swear, bro, movies are so ass, bro. I'm gonna keep it real, Mac is ass, your ass at rapping. Battle me. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. Bro, I'm, bro, I will fucking, bro, I will do a this words against you, bro. Just not today. But we gonna set that shit up. You can bet on that, nigga. Because I will literally beat you in a bat rattle, bro. I will literally beat you, bro. I will literally beat you, gang. Movies nowadays, when are you guys yeah, gonna make the Black see. Bomber superhero movie? I need that. I'll see that in theaters three yeah. times in a row. Y'all show my boy no respect. And yet, y'all gonna produce the 18th billionth Fast and Furious movie. Yo, Chad, I ain't gonna lie, bro. What's happening to movies, bro? It's feel like it's so ass now. Like, what? Is it because the writer strike shit? Is that why? Because movies been mad ass. And TV shows. Like, the new TV shows and shit, it been mad ass. Ain't nobody wanna see that? And streaming services be producing half the slop we be consuming nowadays. You can find many of them on Netflix. There's a ton of banger movies on there. But after seeing it on TikTok from time movies and time again, it seems like ass. there's a streaming service <laughs> that is a gold mine for not only B movies, but low quality looking, $50 budget, filmed on a Motorola looking ass movies. Toby. And when finding this out, my curiosity yeah. got the best of me. I, I needed to see this. this and when right I checked one, it out, Devin, I was not only shit, amazed, but I was perplexed shit. on how amazing well, that's why these movies are. Some saying. of these movies were. That's what it is. You push the link and you press uh press the little pin shit. Press the little uh edit shit when you put the uh twist clip link in, bro. Make Martin Scorsese reconsider what true cinema is. And this bitch is sitting on my living room couch. You the only one with a key. What are you talking about? Tiffany. Tiffany the f***ing dog. Boy, I don't even know what you're talking about. I haven't been there in a week. Where the fuck did she go? Tubi if you ain't know. What the fuck? Oh, it's a streaming service like the others, but service? unlike them, out of their original catalog, they have great works of arts like Bad Cat, Mary Finger Kill, and Shark Side of the Moon. You know, absolute classics that everybody knows. But yes, outside the originals the they produce, Tubi also has a big catalog of B-movies. Not the jazz one, but low budget and indie movies. It has a whole bunch of films made by everyday people movie. like you and me. Fuck Since anybody can make a movie nowadays. <laughs> if you got a camera, <laughs> you can make a movie. The thing is, a Bro. lot of these films don't look the best, or sound the best, yeah. or even make sense half the time, but that's okay. These people made and created a movie that they're so proud of that they released it to the public for all of us to watch. There's no better accomplishment than that. I'll be talking about one movie today, and that movie is titled okay. Love Beat the Hell Out of Me. And today, Love I'll be going through and okay. over these movies. Just so you guys can see a glimpse of what I saw of what Tubi hey, has to offer. By the way, this ain't sponsored by Tubi. They ain't paying me jack to do this. But if a Tubi exec is watching this, my pockets are open. Just like how my pockets are open. For Yo, we need to make a Tubi movie, bro. Will we make a Roblox Tubi movie? Will they, will they actually today's release that shit? Like a Roblox Tubi movie? Sponsor, war, th <laughs> 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 I gotta go to my BBL appointment later.
So the movie I'll be talking about is Love Beat the Hell Out of Me. Now, I'm not sure this movie is trying to be a sequel or a remake to the 2000 movie with the same title starring the original War Machine, but honestly, my research ended there. I ain't watching both movies. The movie starts off with the beautifully done studio logos and title card with some MF Doom song playing in the background. I don't know, I've only heard them from TikTok. And right at the start, we get introduced to our two main characters doing it. Okay, why start? <laughs> off a movie with a sex scene. Why? You instantly make it awkward. What's the movie called? Mm, what's the movie called? <laughs> what's it? You said love, hate, kill. Okay. Now nah, I'm gonna say that for later. For so, for so. Take that name. Love, marry, kill. I don't know what that shit was called, but shit. I'm gonna tell you what when I'm with my family. Movie. Why did you watch the movie? Anyways, our two characters, Renee and Antonio, are happily married. Oh, they got a kill. kid and they're doing yes. fine, I guess. Then we cut to Damn Antonio's it, job up. at his All office right, and he already acting like a demon. See, I would become an actor just for this. This is the best part of acting. You get, you get the fuck, <laughs> bro. Ah, bro, it's crazy, bro. I really could become an actor though, bro. I play in game, you can talk, you can talk you want to, what? Why would you see called love? Why would you see something called love, finger kill, and think, yeah, I'm watching that? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh, God, bro. Why would you watch that shit? What? <laughs> bro, you bored as hell, nigga. What, what made you watch that shit? For you be a good EDP in a movie. All right. His boss then enters and introduces him to the new hire, Rhonda, and you can already She like fucking Tyler Perry. My bad. My bad. It was my first thought. Okay, I'm wild. I'm sorry, miss. I I don't know what just got into me. I'm my bad, my bad, my bad. They see mad romantical tension between them. You can cut it with a sword or tortilla. It, it was that obvious. Next scene, we are at a school with Renee dropping off her son too and in his classroom. There she meets her son's new teacher and the dude is- This ball of ass nigga. By the end of their combo, you can see even more romantical tension in the air. We seen so much lustful tension with these two and it was never with each other. She then leaves because she ain't trying to act up, you know? Next, we're at a studio hearing one of the best songs ever recorded. Sitting in my crib, trying to get blown. Niggas need to understand my shit just flows. Like the breeze off the fucking lake. I got this dope shit uncut. Man, get this old ass nigga out this fucking studio. So this dude is Renee's brother and apparently this is Antonio's studio and they're all a part of this music group I forgot what it's called and Antonio invited some fine singers to help him record a song Renee brother and Antonio start hollering Yo, bro, why they got this old ass nigga being the most fucking horniest like bro? I look better than this nigga. They could have put me as the main character. What the fuck? Bro, 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 bro. They could have put me in this shit my nigga. They got this old ass nigga. I could have been there Man, this some bullshit, bro. Not these girls, and all of a sudden, this dude becomes a comedian. No, he didn't call himself T. Slick. Uh, for real? This candy man looking goofy. <laughs> yeah, say my name three times, motherfucker. Watch for that. Yeah, how dare you sabotage me in front of these ladies when your sister is literally my wife? But they kiss and make my up at the end, so, so it's damn all cool. poop. Then we teleport to this long this salon scene up, where Renee. Nigga, 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 fuck all that, nigga. Fuck all that, nigga. You sign me up, nigga. Bro, I'm tired, real bro. Chat, I fucking woke up. I stream, bro. I do that every time, bro. Yo, chat, what can I do to fix my sleep schedule, bro? Bro, you such a thug. I am a normal human being. I'm a fucking civilian, and I'm a streamer, my nigga. Yo, can we get to the fucking video, nigga? Damn, I keep pausing. works out, and all the girls there are roasting each other, talking about their kids and that new teacher Renee met today. Her salon buddies egg her, trying to get the deets out of her, but she shows off her wedding ring, announcing her loyalty to Antonio. How sweet. All right. Chat, you think I can pull a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> no. 
not gonna lie first third of this movie is kind of slow there's a lot of small talk like antonio telling ray about the new hire and one of ray's grown-ass friends trying to all right chat hold on is my hairline actually fucked I feel like my shit good. I just need a haircut, bro. My shit, man, my shit good, bro. My shit good, bro. Yeah, I don't even need to show that shit. I got dreads no, anyway. Boy, with a kid in the chicken shop. You uh -huh. put make my dog hey. meow. You can go home with me, fool. It ain't. Shit, I'm going. <laughs> nah. What is this? He opts okay. to the back of a track hawk. Put, hey, Zay, if you want hashtags game, put the hashtags I use, because, yeah, this shit fire, though. This Yo, shit chat, fire. Are y'all growers? Like, when you get hard, like, are y'all growers or chat? Are y'all just, like, showers? Are y'all growers or showers, chat? Be honest, why bro. You, why short, you put bro. this clip? Hey, well, I'm why you put this clip? Bro. I can I, I ain't gonna cap chat. Shit. I'm gonna be honest. All right, bro. Bad clip, bro. That's a bad clip, bro. Till we back at Antonio's office and Rhonda call me, him for some. I'm a shower. I'm such a shower. I'm assistance. Antonio heads over to her office and then his boss is looking for him because he just got nominated for an award for a best attorney in the district. The oh, boss shit. and secretary go to I'm Rhonda's go, office to, to tell Antonio the good news only to I'm walk in on him day. giving Rhonda back shot. Are you freaking kidding me? They fired on the spot and Rhonda's laughing like she... Man... I could have been, I could have been a background actor or something, bro. Come yeah, on, an anime bruh. villain. I, I don't know what the hell role. that's about. <laughs> so, Chad, like, like when y'all was in class, bro, did y'all dick ever get hard when you finna present some shit? Or was that only me? My dick will always get hard for them. Somebody. I had to like, I had to tuck my shit, bro. I never knew why. I never knew why. I, I, ne I like, I never knew why that was a thing, bro. Nah, nigga, you weird. How was I weird? Soft three inches hard, eight inches. You weird. Bro, it's not my fucking fault, nigga. It's the hormones, nigga. Like, shut the fuck up. Another clip. We then right. cut to Renee, bro, showing up to that house, and he trying to tell her the bad news about her husband, Antonio. I have no idea how he knows, but, like, just, just deal with it. But then he does one of those long build-up explanations instead of just saying what the husband did. Just say he cheated. Nigga, no, your face connect. Man, think he is. <sighs> Then Antonio walks in last second right before an actual explanation, of course. I hate when characters do that in movies. Just spit it out. Spit it out already. Then we cut to Renee visiting Damn. Antonio's old job because she just wanted to see her husband being a working and strong man. Only to find out this man hasn't been working there for two weeks. She obviously mad, but then the boss tells her the real reason why he got fired. Then she gets even more mad. Oh, shit. We then cut to Antonio oh, making music with that singer he met earlier. Then they start. Yo, this nigga gotta have a big dick, bro. Cause this nigga's ugly as shit. So he had to have a big dick, bro. Cause I don't see the fucking like goddamn sauce he got. Why is everybody fucking this nigga? What do he got that I don't got? What's the what do he got that I don't got? Nah, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. My guy really said I already cheated once. I might as well do it again. Then Renee finally confronts him about his he cheating, got his job, and she is tired of this dishonest money, etc. My nigga, my nigga. Telling me to calm down. This man just starts going Chris yo, Brown on her crazy. and starts chasing her. Yo, 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 yo what the fuck? Why he just <laughs> why he just slap why he just slap there what the fuck this is a Toby movie done like he John Wick in the most intense chase scene Riz. I've ever seen in the movie that's Riz <laughs> now nah, these edits <laughs> these edits bro <laughs> these edits bro Devin why you laughing at a girl getting slapped nigga. I think every day, Red get dumber and dumber. This is a movie. This is actors, okay? 
You see how that work? After smoothie. Fun, funny edit. Laugh. You see? You dumbass. Hmm? 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 Sister the fucking... How you got a fucking Roblox concussion, you dumbass nigga? You got a Roblox concussion for playing on Roblox football? Are you that dumb? Like, what the fuck are you talking... Shut your dumb ass up, nigga. You, su you support the Mexican abuse. She falls and he brings her back home that, and threatens exactly, her saying, can you, can you, you better exactly, not leave me. Shit crazy. I'm going to go crazy. Oh, 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 and he's also a crackhead now. She dead, dead ass running like, nigga, I'll run fast as shit. Stop playing, nigga. Come on now, nigga. Come on now. You see this fucking goddamn sprint I be doing, nigga? God. W edit I made. What edit did you make? Shitty ass run. Next scene, her brother show up and sees her face. Super worried, he asked, who did this? And she's like, Antonio, but we're not together no more, so there's nothing to worry about. But he wasn't having it, and he was gonna deal with it on his own. Bro waits for oh, Antonio shit. to pull up out of his car to drive by his ass. Ah, oh, shit. Hey, yo, yo. Oh, oh. And in Antonio's oh. dying breath, he licks his lips and then dies again. Can't be seen having chapped lips around the hose. Then we cut to his funeral, which is mad empty. Not even his son showed up. Nobody liked this nigga, I guess. And Renee crying like he ain't just beat her come ass back to life. five minutes ago. What is this channel you what watching? Renee then goes to see Antonio's did, mother. Did, when did, after did seeing Renee's see. scars, she said she always feared this would happen to her. Turns out Tony's father was also a cheater and a beater. And Antonio got his bad habits from his daddy. She begs for Renee to leave Antonio, oh, but shit. Renee says she can't leave him because he threatened her. But he was just at his funeral. He dead now. What are you going to do? Slap you from the grave? Like, that's just ridiculous. Tony's exactly. mom then recommends her to at least leave the house while he's still there. And then she proceeds to think about her son's teacher that she spoke to for like 30 seconds. Uh, I didn't know you guys had that kind of relationship already. Anyways, we go to the next scene at night to the singer girl appearing to be catcalled by some random homeless dude. Only for him to be Antonio? I thought this... Yeah, Tubi is not a real place. Yeah, I, I don't know. Tubi, Tubi, uh, what the fuck they got going on over there, bro? Tubi is not a real place. How is this nigga alive? He just got shot. And it was a funeral. How is this nigga alive? Man was dead. What the hell he doing back? He typed in the chat. He typed in the chat. He typed in the chat, bro. King typed in the chat. First time I saw this scene, I thought it was a flashback or something. But nah, he, he's alive. He's alive, live. So what was that funeral about? Some Mr. Robot dream sequence or some shit? How is he not dead? I mean, from what I found out later on in the movie, he ain't from Wizards of Waverly Place. So how he came back to life? In the movie, never explains this. He, he's just alive again and homeless now. My personal theory is that he has the same powers of Kenny from South Park, but that's just me. Anyways, he confronts the girl about her not answering his calls, but she ain't having it with his drug problems because he's a junkie now, they just, I, I guess. They just trying to get the movie to one hour. smack her, but then she pulls out the blinky on him. Me go. He slowly backs away from her and then notices someone he knows in the alleyway. I know you. I know you. What do you want, man? It's his dealer and Okay, uh, uh, what the f what, what am I watching, what am I watching right now, this can't be he real. He's begging for more compound V, but he got no money, so he offers to do whatever she wants. They walk away together, and we transition to a montage of Renee becoming want, a stronger man? woman who don't need no man. We then cut to her packing her yeah! bag to move out, and while packing, Renee's friend frantically comes in the room. Renee, Capone called, we need to go get Antonio now. Get him for what? 
we need to go get Antonio. And she does one of those things where she don't explain why she has to do it. She just says, there's no time. Like, I'm nah, I'm you got to explain why saying, I need to say my abusive husband because I will never be in the mood for that. Renee eventually agrees to go. And as they look around for him, they pull up to a trap house. And then her friend like, nah, let's just get out of here and call the police. This place ain't safe. But Renee's like, nah, he my husband. Nigga, you leave. Bro, what? What the fuck am I watching right? Now? This, bro, this is the most. Him. Both of them go this inside, and Renee's friend starts tripping before. for good reason, saying, again, this ain't safe, because there's literal junkies walking around, and why are we doing all this for him? Him! Then Renee says, Look, I just need to know. I just need to know what he's been up to. Bro, this nigga got the biggest dick of all time. Why is she acting like this? What the fuck is a Devin OMG? No, what? He had a crack house. That's an obvious. Nigga, that's my fucking. Fuck it. Fuck you, me. What's it? Nigga, what's a meme? I don't know what he's been up to. Renee's friend is. Mimi is spitting wisdom while Renee herself is spitting dumb ass. Anyways, they find Tony and he acting like his usual right, self I'm ever good. since he died. He start begging her to come back and Renee just staring at him for a little bit and she just says, let's get out of here. She's seen everything she needed to see. Then why the hell you- This how David be acting when he receives chat's dick. Don't see why he stream at least five times a week. I don't be- What? Nigga, I don't get dick- I here! What the hell you expected it to look like? To him to be the kingpin of the house? They leave and then he chases them and then we transition to a murder scene and it turns out Tony's drug dealer died of an overdose and they suspect her boyfriend. Chat, I'm finna be streaming every day though, for real though. I'm really finna be on my streaming shit, bro. I'm finna be start streaming every day, bro. True story, bro. I'm finna start streaming every day, bro. David glazes the chat every day. How do I glaze the chat? Of doing it. Now, they haven't even identified Here her come body yet, so. Bro, I'm not capping, nigga. I'm, I'm streaming every day, bro. Every day for the dick. No, every day because of you niggas. So I can fucking talk to y'all every day, bro. I don't know how they Nigga know she, had, she has a cat. boyfriend. One of the cops walks outside because he keeps complaining about the stink of the body. Damn! Please get that damn body out of here. He then sees a group of young African-American men hanging out, minding their own business, and then the woman cop sees this and is like, This man, I bet you $20 I've seen some of the drugs to touch. Yeah. You know what? Hold it right there! That guy be racist. Y'all just saw these random dudes and automatically assumed they did it. You didn't even question them or yourself. You just went after them without no evidence. Like, Africans. damn, this that. movie's more realistic <laughs> than I thought. But this one knows karate, so movie he logic, like uh, I guess quiet, he did it. And that's the last the we time. hear or see wow. anything related to that, so what was the point we cut to antonio walking to renee's house begging some more but renee is really done done with him this time he tries to beat her ass again but she's a strong independent woman now so the self-defense training came in clutch she then tells him she going to church so if he coming he can come he says yes i'll go anywhere with you and man this nigga how is he still pulling bitches as a crackhead this nigga did gotta be like this long what the f what like what the what do she gain what enters the car with her which i don't know how she comfortable with this man being in her car after he literally just tried to knock her out like he was tyson they enter the car together and that's it that's the end of the movie that that's it she gained she yep. gained 15 inches but, but it has one of those no, like, no, where is that's why no, yes i am she no, gained no, a good dick today. and then he's so, 50 of course that automatically makes this one of the best <laughs> nigga what do age have to do with your dick size you think your you think your dick stay growing? Are you dumb? What nigga? What? This movies I've ever watched. Now what are my thoughts on this movie? I thought it was pretty gosh darn entertaining. Sure it had his mishaps like having a slow first twenty minutes, but overall I freaking loved it. And I'm never gonna judge the acting of these types of movies. I think that just comes. Nigga, I am 18. It was with the Tubi package, but, but the writing in these movies always takes a turn in a direction that I'll never predict by the time I'm at the end of the movie. Like, 
who the hell this guy robbed? But I love movies like this. Yo, They're fun to watch, and I bet fuck? the people who are making it had fun making it too. Now, I'm not gonna fuck around and say this movie's amazing or anything up there with the likes of Citizen Kane and Date Movie, but if you're looking for something stupid, fun, and entertaining to watch, I recommend this. Because I think this movie encapsulates what Tubi movies are about. Ridiculous. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I've been gone for God knows how long, but hopefully that won't happen again. Hopefully. But I still 100% definitely love all you guys. Yo, nah, Tubi movies got it, bro. This shit was the best shit I ever seen in my life. I love you. Also, thank you, War Thunder, for sponsoring this, this video. Remember to click my link my in the description. Life, this was the dumbest shit I ever seen in my life, my nigga. That boy dabbing like a diamond asshole.